recording cloud. Hello, welcome to Workout with Katie. Today we're going to be using resistance and loop band. So you're going to need a yoga mat, chair, and indoor running shoes. So let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall about two-thirds of the way on your chair. Shoulders relax down from your ears, stomach and chest power. We're gonna inhale the arms up to lengthen the spine. Turn to come up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale, arms up, exhale down. One last one. Inhale, arms up, tall and long, exhale down. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck next. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Lengthening, stretch. Relief any tension that you may have. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly coming back to center. The other side. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Lengthening. Relieve any tension that you may have. Feel free to stay here for a little bit longer. You do have a very stiff neck. One more breath and slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale to center. Exhale, turn over the, the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center. Chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Always with stimulating thyroid gland. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the left. Slowly come back to center. Chin up, up, up. And then chin to chest. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Shoulder stretch, right arm up and across. Pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly release. Same arm up. Release the first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Try some stretch. Chin up. Eyes looking forward. One more breath, and we slowly, slowly release. Shake it out the other side, arm up and across. Shoulder stretch first. Creating resistance, pull back. Slowly release, same arm up, lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Try to bring the elbows to the back of the head. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. And just be uh, mindful that those who have any shoulder issues, only do what you can. Never force yourself to go beyond your abilities and your limits. Slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows up. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades, opening up long hard chest, improving your posture. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close together, oiling the shoulder joints. And reverse. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Coming into a side bend. So we're gonna inhale the arms up, palm touch, Release index finger, exhale, bend towards the right side. My left is your right. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Shoulders and hips are level. Inhale, arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale to the other side. See if you can bend a little bit more in your side bend. Now repeat one more time. Inhale, center to lengthen. Exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crescent move. Inhale, arms up, tall and long, exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm is a crescent move. Side body long. 
So we come back up, I'm going to come to a gentle twist. Opposite hand off the thigh. Grab the back arm around the waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one, slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. And slowly release the other side. We're going to inhale the arms up to lengthen. Exhale, twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Grab the back arm around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Once again, we're stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Slowly come back to center to release, shake it out. Inhale to open up the body, chin up, half back. So a seated version of cat and cow, exhale to close. Two more times. Inhale to open, lift the chin up, half back. Exhale to close. One last one. Inhale, open. Exhale to close. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to come to a forward bend. So we're going to inhale the arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge from the hips, leading with the chest. Then you are here for a moment. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Feel free to hold on to opposite elbows. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, we need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. We're going to get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. So after forward bend, we're going to go back bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from the knee. Lifting chin up and half back again. Opening up the shoulder blade. Long, hard chest. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and half back. One more breath and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Getting ready for our loop bend. So adjust your posture, and we're gonna loop the band on our forearm. So when you're ready, we're gonna open, close. Shoulders on top of hips, stomach and chest palm. Feel the resistance. Pick a level that you wanna work on today. And if you need further challenge, move up to the next strength. As always, we listen to our body. Take a break whenever you need. Have a sip of water and join us when you can. Now we'll raise the arm up, continue. Shoulders relaxed down from the ears. Stomach and chest proud. Small little movement. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good, slowly, slowly release. And we're gonna loop it on one shoulder, doesn't matter which one, opposite hand, keeping the bend down, the other hand loop the thumb through, tuck the elbow close to your body. So we're going like this, extend, extend. Just be mindful that over time, through wear and tear, your band may break. So make sure it doesn't snap into you. Nice and slow with control. Let's do another four, three, two, one, switching side. Take your time to set up. 
Opposite hand, grab a hold of the band, and this hand, loop the thumb through, tap the elbow, push your body. And when you're ready, begin. Let's do another four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. Shoot the arrow, pull back, shoulder height, pull and release. Let's do another four, three, two, one, switching side, shoot the arrow, pull back and release, shoulder height. Let's do another four, three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release. Bring it behind you. So one arm, wrap around your waist, the other arm, extend. Three, two, and one. Switching side. Take your time to set up. Tuck the elbow close to your body. Wrap the back arm around your waist. Extend. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now bring it behind your back. Now, because this is a shorter band, so we're just going to move the upper arm. Do what you can. Four, three, two, and one, switching side. And when you're ready, pull it up. Upper arm on me. Wrap the back arm around your waist. Hold on tight. Don't let it slip out your hand. Four, 
three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. Check it out. Let's do some shoulder roll. Release any tension that you may have. And reverse. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Now we're gonna loop it on our thigh. Sit up tall, palm facing up. Now when you come down, nice and slow. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Release, switching side. Palm facing up, elbow close to your body. Let's do another four, three, two, one, very good. Release, place both feet into your loop band, on your thighs, sit up tall, we're gonna inhale to open up, toes are pointed out, exhale close, toes are pointed in. So continue. Working this big muscle, for your step. So we're moving to the bottom half of the body. Sitting up nice and tall. Feel the resistance. Let's do another four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. Move it further down to your calf. And we're gonna inhale up, exhale down. Make sure you feel the resistance, sitting up nice and tall. You can either have hands on your thighs or holding onto your chair for support. We're not kicking. Engage your core along with the muscle for this. Inhale up, exhale down. Just breathe in and out of your nose normally. Two. One, stay up here. Small little open shut. Feel 
Two of the burn. And let's do a couple more. And slowly, slowly release. Placing one foot into the band. We're gonna inhale up, exhale down. Once again, we're not kicking. We're working the entire leg from the hip joint to the ankle joint. So by pointing your toes up to the ceiling, we're working the big muscle, the quadricep, the calf, hamstring, ankle joint. Now we're gonna add this wide leg as well. Only open as wide as you're comfortable. Opening up the hip joint, stretching out the inner thighs. So we should feel the stretch here. You don't have to open up very wide, only go to where you're comfortable. Be mindful for those who have hip issues. Let's do a couple more. And one last one. Slowly release, switching side. Sit up tall. Now we're gonna do the leg up first. Control your movement, don't kick. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Breathe in and out of your nose normally. Now on this one, we're gonna open up wide leg. Only go to where you're comfortable. Be mindful for those who have hip issues or any issues at all. Opening up hip joint, stretching out inner thighs. Let's do two more. And one last one. Very good, slowly release. We're gonna remove the band for now and we're just gonna do some more stretches. Forearm stretch, palm facing knee, fingers facing down. Lengthening the forearm, opening up energy channel, stimulating meridian points, acupuncture points, increase circulation. Now we're gonna do palm, Facing knee, fingers facing up to change direction. Back of the hand facing knee, fingers facing down, a different angle. Wrist exercise and forearm stretch. Now, back of the hand facing knee, fingers facing up. Slowly release, shake it out the other side. Forearm stretch, palm facing knee, fingers facing down. Change direction, 
palm facing me, fingers facing up. Back of the hand facing me, fingers facing down. Back of the hands facing me, fingers facing up. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Make a fist, inhale, shoulders up to your ears, make it tight, tight, tight. Ah, Sign it out to release. Again, inhale your shoulders up, carrying a lot of tension here. Exhale, let it go, two more times. Inhale, shoulders up, tight, tight, tight. Exhale, let it go, one more. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release. Now we're gonna reach for the longer band. Now, because this is longer, so more gift. Now, you can do double up. So let's try doubling up. One side holding onto the handle. Make yourself comfortable. The other side, extend. Now, I'm already moving up to the bread band, which is uh, 20 pounds. Not that I'm stronger or more powerful, it's just that the yellow band has been eaten up, chewed up by cats. So if you feel like you can take further challenges and move up to the next color band, go ahead. Let's do another four, three, two, and one, very good, slowly, slowly release. Now the band is still in half, so we're gonna inhale up, exhale, bend towards one side, slowly come back to center, the other side, center, down. So continue, inhale up, exhale, come to a side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, bend. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Coming back to center, lower down. Repeat, inhale, arms up, exhale, bend. Inhale, center, exhale, bend. Feel the stretch inside your body. See if you can bend a little bit more. Make sure you sit securely on your chair. One last one. Slowly release, catch your breath, big figure eight, bigger movement. Sit securely on your chair. Now we will reverse the direction. Big, big figure eight. Slowly, slowly, come back to center, shake it out. Now this is a longer band, so we're gonna place it behind our back and we can move both upper and lower. So we're gonna go like this. Try your best. Four, three, two, one, switching side. Both upper and lower arm if you can. Now if you find that this is challenging, just move 
one arm. So either upper or lower. Feel the resistance. Maintaining muscle mass, bone density. As we age, slowly, slowly release. Very good. Now we're gonna bring it behind our back. So can either go and scale that way. So I'm gonna make it shorter so I can feel the resistance. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Switch inside. Take your time to set up. Find a link that works for you. As long as you feel the resistance, it's good to go. Stretch, strengthen and tone the muscles. Heart rate may be going up and you may be feeling warm. Opening up the pores, breaking our sweat. Sweating is all good, part of detox. Slowly, slowly release. Now we're gonna move to the legs. So we're gonna place one foot on your mat now. Once again, we're gonna lift it up and extend. So adjust the length of your band. Thumb facing up, sitting up nice and tall. Now you're gonna feel the difference between loop band and resistant band. You guys are looking good, you're doing great. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Very good. Switching side. Holding on to the handle. Now make it shorter so you can feel more resistance. Thumb pointing up. Three, two, and one. Very good. Crisscross, both feet on the band. So we're going to go crisscross. So sitting up nice and tall, let's do a single, single first. Now, if you need the shorter band, just widen your stand. Only up to the shoulder height.
Now let's try double double. Try your best. Feel free to go back to single single. Always adapt, modify the workout for yourself. Four, three, two, one, slowly come back. So we're going to undo the crisscross. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull it up. Widen the stand if you need a shorter band. Single, single first. Try your best. And we're going to repeat this when we're standing up. Try double. Let's do another four. Three, two. One, very good. And we are done. Mid class break. Have a sip of water. Slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Now we're going to go into some cat and cow. Legs are hip width apart. All 10 toes facing the front. Spread all your fingers, rest underneath your shoulder. Ankle and hips are aligned. I'm not sticking my butt up and I'm not bending my arm. So when you're ready, neutral tabletop. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cup. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, continue. At your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral. Swing side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Take an inhale and send the exhale to overlook the right hip. Let the hip drop. Bring the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral. Swing side to side. We will come to arm balance. Right arm and left leg out. Right thumb to the sky. Back toes down. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. And we'll stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. Repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky. Back toes down. Lengthening. One straight line. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Engage your abdominal muscles for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. Take your time to rise up to standing. Hamstring stretch. Place one leg on your chair. If this is too high up, lower down. So try your best. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to the front. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward. Leading with the chest. Holding onto the chair, the foot. Working the standing leg and ankle. 
Stretching out the hamstring here. If this is too tight, slightly bend the knee. Whatever you do, don't round the back or drop the head. Chin is away from the body. Staying here for four, three, two, one. Slowly rise up, release. Alternating bending your knees, release tension and repeat on the other side. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Square the hip, turn front. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge, leading of the chest. Holding on to the foot, the chair, all the legs. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Go around the back and drop the head. Feel the stretch here, hamstring. And we're going to stay here for four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. Alternating bending your knees. And we're going to stretch out quadriceps, the big muscle. Inside leg is the standing leg. Holding onto your chair for support. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Grab a hold of the foot or ankle. Don't open up the knees. You're going to stretch into quadriceps. If you want to turn it into a balancing, dancer, release the other arm. Engage your core abdominal muscles, looking at a focal point that doesn't move, either on the floor or at the horizon. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. Alternating, bending your knees. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So shift the weight to the standing leg. Get grounded first, hold on to the other foot or ankles, knees together, take the foot into your hand, engage core abdominal muscles. You can hold on with one hand or both hands or turn it into a dancer, your choice. Walk in the standing leg and ankle, looking at a focal point that doesn't move, that will help you with balancing. And whenever you're ready, you can slowly release, alternating, bending your knees. Now, you can work on the glutes. So pick up your resistant band and we're going to place the foot in the handle part. Adjust the length. Holding on to your chair and we're going to pick up one leg. Small little kick. Squeeze your glutes in tight. So squeeze your butt in tight. Feel the resistance. Work in a standing leg and ankle as well. Engage your core. Good posture always. Work the big muscles in your glutes. Firming up your butt. Four. Three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Switching side. Adjust the band to suit your knees. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Small little kick. Squeeze your butt in tight. The big muscle here. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Remove the handle. Now we're going to continue work standing. Place both feet on the band. Or 10 toes face in front, legs are here work. We're gonna go into the chair pose. Inhale up, exhale down. So we're gonna get this motion going. And let's work on single, single first. Good 
that's my bad symbol. Slightly tuck the tailbones in, protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Let's try double. Take your time, no need to rush. Let's do another four. Three, two, one, very good. I'm just gonna move the chair aside to make more room for myself. Placing one foot on the band. I'm going to do a diagonal. The other hand on your waist for support. Only up to the shoulder height. Three, two, one, slowly release. Switch inside. One hand on your waist, the other hand. Pull it up, diagonal. Adjust the length to suit your knees. Let's do another four. Three, two, and one. While you get there, those are pointed out. I want to get this motion going. Are you ready? Try your best. Slightly tuck the tables in, we'll tuck it back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Now let's try the ball. Just a couple more. And then we'll go crisscross. So I'm going to shorten my stance so I'll give myself more strap. And I'm going to go pull it up. Try your best. Let's do another four, three, two, one, very good. And we're gonna to move to the yoga mat. So take your time, take water. If you need water before you come 
lie down. So we're going to do the loop bend first. I'm going to place it on the thigh. Move it up to the thigh. Come lie down your side. Bend both knees, glue the feet together. Open shut like a clamshell. Four, three, two, and one. Now make the hammer with your fist, and we're just going to pat, pat, pat around the hip area, the meaty part, not the bony structure. And we're going to move it further down to your calf. Extend the leg, flex the feet. Small, little, open, shut. Good resistance. Two more. And one last one. So make a little hammer with your fist. Pat, pat, pat. The meaty part. Release tension. And we're going to get ready to look to the other side. So keep your bend on your head. Take your time. Straight out the legs. Wax the feet. Small, little, open shut. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Tap, tap, tap. Release tension, and we're going to move it further up the thigh. Bend both knees, glue the feet together, open shut. So keep your knees bent and the bend is on your thigh. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. Slightly tuck the chin in to protect your neck. So neck and spine in one straight line. Take a couple more breaths here. Let your body get used to lying on its back. And when you're ready, we're going to press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, lift the hips high, high up. Exhale to lower down. One more degree at a time. If you want to do exhale up, that's perfectly fine. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your quadriceps and your glutes are firm. In other words, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thigh and your butts are firm. 
strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. When you come up, all the weight is in the shoulder, regular weights in the head and neck, chain is almost touching the chest. Let's do another four, three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, release. Slide the band further up your calf. Flex the feet. Hands behind the kneecap. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Stretching our hamstrings. Improving digestion, sleep quality, increased immunity level, energize your body. When you're ready, we're going to lift the hand chest up, reach for your toes. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Reach. Coming up with your abdominal muscles. Try not to carry any tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. And let's do another four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly release. I'm done by your side. We're going to do several rounds of leg lifts. So when you're ready, first round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up to the ceiling. Another round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Then we'll drop it, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Keep going. Lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Continue. Lower down with control. Don't just swing the leg up and down. One last round. And all the way down, bounce it a few times and we move the good band. Now from here, we're gonna come to spinal twist. That's on our right thigh. You see the right hand gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg, left arm, our shoulder head, palm facing down. Shoulder and shoulder blades are still on the mat. Turn a little bit the left side of your neck is good. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. We're gonna stay here for four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Repeat on the other side, opposite hand, opposite side. Feel free to extend the top leg if you have room. Right arm out, shoulder height, palms facing down. Turn and look at the right side, your neck is good. Shoulder and shoulder blades are still on the mat. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles, creating spaces between our form and our form. Slowing down the half feet. Now we're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Bend both knees, knee to chest, wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Come into your big circular motion if you like, covering a big area. Go the other way.
slowly, slowly cut back to center. Drop both knees to the right side. Raise your right arm. Roll over to the right side. Making a pillow of the right tricep. So we're going to come lie down the side for a moment. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. I'm going to come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Taking our three final closing breaths, inhale your arms up to lengthen, turn the palm out, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. One last one. So we come back to center. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your energy with all of us, and letting me guide you through this workout. Always my pleasure. Thank you, Katie.